good evening aspirants good evening viewers good evening each and every person out there welcome to another session with me varun on tech tablet and in today's session we will be looking at part 2 and probably the 16th or 17th video of the sap ui5 theory learning series a developer learning series right and in this video we will be looking at how to understand the sdk a bit further as compared to the last video so in the last video we have seen uh, the tabs or we have explored the tabs of the website so in this series we would go a bit further right and for all those of you who do not know me well my name is varun rao i am an sap abap ui5 theory developer who has knowledge on abap or data html5 javascript xml css and json i mean all these are parts of sap ui5 so it's basically abap and ui5 only though they sound a bit fancy but yeah it's nothing then i'm currently on acquiring knowledge or acquiring uh, i'm i'm currently in like stages of acquiring knowledge in iot ai python ml and dl for data science or we are not, not very sure of it but then yeah one of them so we will now understand what is the agenda of this session so the agenda would be to understand how do we use the sdk right now it's two different things how do we understand the sdk and how do we use the sdk and the second thing is is there an alternate for uh, development to this website or to this sdk and can we just copy paste and create an app how far is this possible i mean i've have i've had a lot of questions or a lot of uh, comments on my uh, youtube channel asking me about some procedures or some cheat codes about how to create an app so we look at that aspect also and then how do we use this for development let us just understand this question i think if you know these four questions you should be able to call yourself a developer so i would just like to congratulate you in advance for attending this video and for being able to understand the heart and soul of what sap uf actually is so let's go further into the website and let's understand what sdk is so in the last video we were up to understanding the tools uh, you know the api references samples etc so now let us look at api references a and b samples and c the version so when we actually began using the sap ui5 sdk the screen was somewhat like this okay and uh, you know things were one so good let me just see if this is what it is okay, let me just try changing the version once again okay i'm sorry this is the latest version that we are at let me just try going to the previous version so the previous version is this and you know the video the ui of the website in itself was so pathetic uh, i would not call it pathetic but it was so dull and i wouldn't say it was you know very ui friendly or developer friendly because it would only land you into more queries right a and b it wasn't a treat to the eyes when you came on to the different aspects of the sdk right you had only 157 entities and if client would ask for anything more than this i don't think that many of many developers out there had an answer they really had to you know break their heads over a lot of sessions and i'm sure all that we're able to see right now is the hard work of a lot of actual developers who really work hard and who don't work for you know growth who do not who do not work for salaries who do not work for jobs they only work out of passion they only work out of their love towards passion you know their love towards coding and their love towards these languages so it's because of those developers that what we are able to see today is something like this this is how we have things today right and if you just go on to understanding the api references so you have you know different types experimental apis deprecated apis i mean all of them 
very neatly arranged and all that you've got to do is start understanding and exploring the SDK. So this is the eventing tab and you know these are the different libraries that you could use. Okay, uh, now this is the M SAP M libraries and here you have different elements of SAP M libraries like let us say you want to use a button. Okay, so we'll go on to B and see here in B you have a button. All right, now they're all arranged in E, M, C, E, M. See, we'll understand what this is as we keep going further. But then let me just, you know, do this right now. Okay, notwithstanding SAP M, we have APF, base, CA, chart. Now, what are all these is a query that you must definitely be having. Now, all these are different libraries that you have available in the SAP UI 5 SDK. Uh, a while back or a bit prior, you had libraries also from SAP UI .commons, and now we have SAP.m libraries on the website. So this is the API references tab and this is the samples tab that we have. Now this is the most important tab for any developer I would say now. What does this tab consist of? Now this tab would have each and everything that you're looking for basically. In short, if you want me to answer, this tab is the key to most of your problems. Now, all the doors that you have logged, most of them can be unlocked when you use this tab, which is the samples. We've already looked at understanding the documentation, the demo apps and tools. We've already seen the uh, version change, how to you know access the version and change elements, right? Now, this one very interesting thing that I want you to know. I don't think it's even more than, uh, you know, I don't think it's more than 22. Sorry, it's not even more than seven or eight healthy years of SAP UI 5. And we've gone from 157 elements to, I'm not sure how many elements. SAP has not got a count of this. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure this should not be anything less than. Uh, 800 to 1000, right? Now these are, are these many elements are, 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 you know, this count of elements is huge, which definitely means that SAP UI 5 is consistently developing or growing, which means that there is definitely more scope of growth for developers to grow as well. So it's like vice versa. You build the website and the website in turn builds you, right? So each and every API reference would be having a sample to it. Now, I would again not say each and every API reference because I, I, I don't find every example of API reference in the samples, but then yes, most of them definitely is. Now, if you go on to the samples and if you want to check on a button, so I just type a button, I hit enter, and here I have different buttons like a segmented button, radio button menu, button message box okay now the, the the thing is you would not have all the options of i i, I mean not it's, it's not required that you would be having only button options you might have other options as well but then all the button options would get populated for sure this is a toggle button okay uh and then within my container also i have a message page object page now all these are not required you know everything that you're finding within display they are not required layout is not required again okay so this is how you got to you know start exploring or start using the sdk or you know the sample now these are the different variant of of, of buttons that you know this is a sample of menu button all right now if you just start exploring this very slowly and and you know very steadily you should be able to see all variants of button and you should be able to you know understand how they are built what are the different options you have and you know how you can copy them on the Eclipse or on the web ID, which would be the most important part. Now this is samples. Now here you have different buttons that you're able to see, but then if you go on to understanding the API references into the M, I would now you know take myself or help myself onto the button. So I am onto the button tab now. Okay. So if I go onto the button tab. I would be able to see that I have all the options or features of uh, a button here. Instead of saying options or features, I would like to use the word, I have uh, the entire technical description of a button in this 
tab which is API references. Okay, so I have associations, I have events, I have methods, I have uh, you know, like A to Z with respect to a button, and also they're detailing here. So this is the constructor, this is the properties, associations, events. So you can just you know check what are the different events you have. All right, and um, the most important part. If there's anything that you're not able to find anything, I mean, anything that you're not able to find in these tabs, then ideally the next tab that you should be exploring would be the super class, which would be the extent. So if you go here, you should be able to use 99% of the use cases for a button as well, because sap.ui.core occupies or uh, forms a very important central library of SAP UI5 development framework or SAP UI5 uh, libraries. It's like the king of SAP UI5 libraries, okay? And when you're working on development, there are two options that you have. It, it would be sap.ui.commons libraries that you could use or sap.m. Now, again, if you're using a web IDE, you wouldn't have these options. Your application would automatically be built on SAPM libraries. But then, if you're using an Eclipse IDE platform, then you would definitely have the option of choosing if you want SAP UI dot, uh, commons libraries or SAP.M libraries. So it would be up to you to you know, use which of them. The libraries which are most recommended now nowadays or which are used nowadays uh, would be SAP.M libraries. Now, if you ever have a question as to why only SAP.M and why not uh, SAP.UI.commons uh, with respect to the libraries, then you should be uh, knowing that SAP.M libraries have the capability of being automatically responsive, A, and B, SAP.M libraries are the ones which are more focused on. Now, if you just dwell or if you just start thinking why are they more focused on, then you should be getting your own answer that with change of technology or with change of pace of technology over time, we see that applications have been going flexible. And in order to crack the code of this flexibility, we needed to move on to or we need to move on to something which is uh, more mobile. So we had to move on to SAP UI5 with more flexibility, more features, better UI options and features. And doing all that, this is the stage that we've come on to today. So this is a very basic understanding of the SDK, right? the API references and samples. In the upcoming video, we would be looking at more in depth of API references and samples, which would also be covering features of how to copy paste code from the SDK onto the Eclipse so that we can start building an application or we can start building controls of the SDK at least. So what I aim to do is to, uh, you know, complete the, 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 you know, the entire trailing that we have in the samples. So we have a walkthrough. So I'm just trying to complete the walkthrough now that it's already available and free for all of us. I'm just trying to, you know, technically represent them in a video so that all those of you who want to practice can start practicing because I very firmly believe that a financial problem or, you know, time problem or, or, you know, traveling problem should not be a hindrance for your growth or your learning because uh, I have been able to face, I've been able to face them over my tenure and uh, I would believe that if this is something that's being avoided for at least a few of you, I think that should be helpful. So with an expectation that you've learned something new and also with an expectation that you've liked the video, this is me, Varun Rao, logging off. Thanks a lot for being there and watching this video with patience. And if in case you like the video, hit the like button because if you let us know if you like the video or not, that would encourage us A and B, it would also further motivate us to make more videos. and. If you feel that this might be useful for at least a few, then please do share this video because if this is being useful, then I think the motive of this channel is achieved. Thanks a lot for being there. Hoping to see in the upcoming video with something more uh, on the SDK, not only on SAP UI5, but also on other modules. 
and technical exchange on other technologies as well. Thank you. Have a great day. All the very best for the uh, interview that you are about to take up in the future.